I'm kind of, like, expecting the wolves to come back at any time. I'm really paranoid at the moment. But we can manage. Okay. So with that on, I can now turn the power back on. This place. Store, garage. Aha. There we go. <sighs> so, back to looking around here, huh? With the power back on, I should be able to do a good numerous things. A broken clock, how convenient. Oh, we can tell... Well, maybe not. I was gonna say we can tell what time Hamilton died. Let's try something. Put this away. Turn off the light. Crouch. So, oh, there's a sneak mechanic. I saw that earlier. And I was like, oh no, <laughs> what is this going to mean for us? It means we're going to have to hide from people later on. Ugh. Oh. Intriguing. What could possibly be hidden at the top of this shelf? A drink. Well, yay. I'm glad we got some wine. I'm sure it'll be useful for something. The snowstorm pummeled everything in its path. Carl was not surprised when he heard no tone. Phone lines are out. Jeez. Okay, well, at least we got the pump on outside. Now, how do I turn this on? Um... Let me read through my journal. I have no idea where actually I put the... The note. Where would that random information be located? Also, did you see that? There was a- there was totally- Oh wait, nope. I was flipping it. That's actually just showing the biography stuff anyways. Crap. I took the letter off of this area, so I actually don't remember how to ring up the notes. Oh, hey. Another brochure. Northern Quebec's economy is booming. The north of Chibangamau area's population will soon reach 30,000 souls, among which thousands of happy families will be prospering thanks to the hard labor of their fathers, who will be contributing valiantly in expanding Quebec's national wealth. Mines and hydroelectricity, hunting and fishing, the true Canadian dream, Turn it into your reality now! The mines, a sector in full expansion. Did you know that since 1960, Canada tripled the amount of resource re uh, royalties it collects? Did you know that the country's true source of richness is lying under your very feet at this very moment? The buildings of our schools and our hospitals demand or depends on re minerals. Exploiting our resources, the road to our future. What a lovely brochure. Don't you want to go into the mines? Not really. Let's say... Hold on, do you see that? Sale... 10 cents? And... Credit? Sale? I'm just pressing buttons at this point because I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. I've never worked a cash register in my life! Aha! Here we go. Cash register instructions. To open the cash register, punch the price, two numbers minimum. Press sale. Turn the crank two times. Punch the machine if it doesn't work. Okay. Well, I'm gonna take a picture just in case. Punch the price, two numbers minimum, and then press sale. And then afterwards, turn the crank 
which is on the, the, the other side. Okay. So, we're gonna say... Whatever the person bought was... $21. Sale. Aha! And there's the other key. Okay. We can't actually take the money, but whatever, I suppose. I don't need the money for now. And we're not crooks, despite the fact that we could totally easily be one. Jumping from that height was akin to tempting death. Perhaps that man on the snowmobile had seen enough of this world already. <laughs> or maybe he wanted to live life to the maximum. A nice picture of the Magasin La Chance store, seemingly taken the day it was first opened. It feels frozen in time, from an era long forgotten. What about this? This looks, this looks old as hell too. Amateur hunters showing some pride at having killed a nice pelted beast. With men like this roaming the area, wolves would become extinct within ten years, Carl thought. <laughs> Except they hadn't, which is a shame for us, huh? Okay. So we have... the post key. Which means we should be able to access any of these, but I actually can't. Huh. Is there something I'm missing over here? I guess I could just fill up my car and get out of here. Or just fill up my car. Thank God their pumps still work. Fill up gas can. I Carl knew one. straight away where to find the infuriated Gilles Lachance. Any good investigation would have to start there. Ah, there we go. Oh, the murder weapon. The revolver. What was that doing there? Carl wondered. Hamilton must have been determined to keep some information secret to post this key. Shame he got unlucky. Everything made sense now. Poor Hamilton's denunciation was interrupted, and he figured it would be best to lock everything up and send the key to his correspondent, who would receive the box later on. Clever, but not enough. That's what happens to ordinary people playing spy. The hell? Letter from Hamilton. It is as a citizen of Her Majesty and the free economic chambers of the world that I must address what appears or what follows to the proper authorities. The worst is happening at this very moment. I cannot write at length, but I am requesting the my um, or I am requesting immediate help for my country. I believe the free world is in danger. A member of my community, the honorable the honorable who? We just got a whole bunch of information all of a sudden. We unlocked the box from the other car. That's a pretty big sign. So how does that all piece together? Hamilton's murder. Investigate, investigative hypothesis. I can easily trace back the chain of events. Hamilton wants to send a very confidential denunciation letter to the Secret Service in Ottawa. He's planning on sending the letter inside of a, lo a locked box and to send the key separately. It's cumbersome, but he's doing what he can. But something throws him off while he's in a hurry. He locks everything up, mails the key, but the box somehow ends up in his killer's hands. Oh. Is there a key inside? The killer must not have known it was there, or they would have taken it. I'm one step ahead of him. <laughs> Is getting rid of the murder weapon by putting it in a mailbox really the best way? There most likely won't be any prints on it. I would have paid to see the postman's face when he found the thing, though. Well, if I ever get ammo for it, that's good. So we need to find Gilles Le, uh, Le Chance. Which means we need to look at one of the notes that we got. Talking about our credits. So, La Chance, La Chance, but wait. La Chance was the owner of this place. Shit. Oh, we marked it down on the map. Good stuff, Carl. I didn't have to do it myself. I was like, I don't know what's going on here. All right, we gotta go back down the road then.
Oh, 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 that's bad. Okay. I have to go a really long way around because nature decided they wanted to destroy a tree today. I agree with that notion, nature. Trees are dicks. going on over here that had to be the worst parking job ever <laughs> who was Carl to judge though it may be customary to park like that around these parts or not yeah, what the heck happened here was this the killer's car we see that he had a fragile box the which means cold rendered the door frozen tight Carl oh. saw no way to open it so I'm gonna need some kind of way to warm the door up. All right, we'll come back later on. Maybe, maybe we can light the car on fire. Oh, that'd be good. I thought when he was talking about my the parking job, he was talking about mine. I was like, uh, <laughs> I parked where I saw fit. Oh, that's not so good. The map doesn't have information on it. When we're driving, that doesn't make sense. Unless it's a entirely different map. How the hell do I get to it? Ah, here we go. I see the mailbox. I thought I was gonna have to go through the forest. All right, well, I wouldn't be a good detective unless I snooped on his mail. I don't think any more cars are gonna be coming around here. I mean, let's be honest. Everyone around here is probably dead. Hey, letter for July. To Mr. Jalaz Lachance in South Maniston. Dear Mr. Lachance, we have carefully taken note of your complaint regarding the collapse of a natural cave on your property. However, given the absence of any actual damage or injury, we cannot move forward with this investigation. The natural cave cannot be considered a personal belonging. Furthermore, your claims regarding the landslides caused by the work in the new DW Inc. mine seems outlandish, as the mine is miles away from your property. Also, it is imperative that you secure your property as you would be held accountable for any injuries caused by the steam terrain. This is where Crying Wolf leads you. Sincerely, Pierre Valjean. Oh, he has a natural cave, huh? Sounds like a perfect place for someone to wind up dying in. Oh, boy. I am on edge. I'm ready for things to happen. I mean, we already saw wolves, and we have health, which means I can be attacked, and I can have to survive from attacks. And that's not good for me. The hell? The fuck? The crossbow bolt stuck into the wooden stairs reminded Carl of the arrow that was said to have hit Achilles' heel. But who was the intended Achilles this time? And why is it, like, flaming? That's really bizarre. It's not really on fire, but it's super heated up, and that's obviously not good. Okay, Lachance. This is actually not too bad of a house, at least from the outside. Let's give him a good old knock. Oh. I am sorry for intruding. The air was freezing right down to the bone. What the fuck? The chance is dead, man. Was that the Lord Almighty's doing? What the A hell? huge block of unnatural, glowy ice had swallowed that poor woman's body. What sort of supernatural force could have conjured this? Okay, so it's not the chance. A sudden cold snap struck Carl, who felt like he was pulled into a dream. Whoa. I'm... Am I living her last memories? Oh, that sounds bad for me. Okay, Something that's good. was hidden under the stairs. Well, what's gonna be upstairs? The man grabbed his rifle. Carl felt a sense of dread in him. There's nothing useful here. 
Well, not for now. So something must have spooked them outside. Oh? Bertrand Lachance. 1948, that has to be the code. Perhaps their spousal relationship had been cooling down lately. Did they... Did he kill her? What happened? They looked like they're having a little bit of an argument, but that's not... It seemed like secrecy was commonplace in Something this Something to house. get shot over? What the heck, Lee? Giselle's Carl diary. Whoa! The cold slowly dissipated and was brought back to reality. Giselle was now only ice, and all that was left of her voice was a diary. She confided in this diary, amongst other things, the tragic story of a young woman, a victim. Was this what she was hiding? Not sure, but before we do anything, let me see if I can start a fire. Looks like they're repainting the whole house. Let's turn on my light. Four? There we go. I don't want to be standing in the cold reading the letter. If I can manage it. Looks like the holes in that puzzle are there to stay. I mean, we could solve it. They have the pieces laid out on the table. All right, Giselle. What were you writing about? Documents. Letter from Giselle. All right, wait, no, nope, this is, this is somebody else. Shoot. Giselle's diary. September. Mother once told me when I first met Gilet. By the way, I'm not, I don't speak French. I don't know French. I'm gonna butcher all of these pronunciations. I'm apologizing. I just want to say gills, but it's, it's like gilets. Ahem. <clears throat> Do you hear that? Okay, no, the music just changed. I thought something was fucking happening. September. Mother once told me when I first met Gilles that I hadn't picked the brightest bulb of the lot. And as the years fly by, I'm seeing the truth of her words. Always trust your mother's wisdom. Eh, eh, don't say about that. That blackmailing scheme is a prime example of Gilles' brightness. He's like a small dog. He thinks he's bigger than he actually is. He growls, generally thinking he's scary, but everyone knows he can be pushed aside with just a little kick. He truly believes he can blackmail Hamilton, the big boss himself. It's gonna be a long time in hell before my poor Gilles can manage to pull off such a feat. After all, Hamilton's rich, learned, and an influential man. Not only is that not only is that blackmailing idea bad to begin with, let's be honest, Gilles is way out of his league, but Gilles doesn't even know how he's actually going to carry this out. I don't think he ever would. He's just throwing random threats out loud in the kitchen. He says he'll do it eventually, but I know better. Successful blackmailing requires masterful cunning, and Gilles is master of nothing. He's a slave, and forever will be. I often look at that safe he keeps hidden in the fake wall, in which he stores all those incriminating documents he intends to use. I just can't come to grips with the sheer ridiculousness of the whole thing. Incriminating documents, huh? I don't think I took a picture of her. I don't know what's going on around here, but... As we said once before, this is definitely supernatural. I have yet to find a clock that works. <laughs> Time has frozen here! Or some nonsense. Let's look at my journal. What can we say about a cold mystery? General manager's wife, Giselle Lachance, frozen. What freezer is behind all this? <laughs> That's one way to describe it. Okay, at least the rest of this house is lit up, or at least this one room is. So that's obviously gotta be... the code. 
1948. Maybe. Ah, oh, moving. What a pleasant activity. Of course, you'll find the record player only to find the records weeks later in some random box. Ah, <laughs> oh, moving. What a pleasant activity. Of course, you'll find the record player only to find the records weeks later in some random box. Uh, well, I haven't moved yet, but I can imagine that definitely being a thing. Oh, I can't find the thing I need. Crap. Okay. Carl had seen that kind of safe before. Oh. With its double-layered security system blending letters and numbers, its code couldn't be broken by the common burglar. B. Nineteen. Forty. Oh. That didn't work. <laughs> Crap. I'm hoping the code isn't that, but this has to be somewhat important. Bertrand Lachance, 1948. We'll look upstairs. Maybe we can find more information what around a here. Mess. Clearly, there was some major revamping work underway here. The place looked barely habitable. What? This isn't so bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's like, oh man, this place looks so terrible with its really nicely laid out newspapers all the way on the sides of the room and so much free space in between here and the bed. Barely habitable. All right, narrator. A nice white coating would restore the room to its charm of olden days. What have we got in here? Oh, more Polaroid film. Great. It would be a shame if I ever ran out of it. Many boxes scattered about. Carl didn't need to summon his detective training to quickly figure that the Lachances had just moved in. Oh, I thought they were just renovating or moving out soon, or both. Renovate the place, rent it out somewhere as you leave. Many boxes scattered about. Carl didn't need to summon his detective training to quickly figure that the Lachances had just moved in. <laughs> Looks like they didn't like the looks of this place. A nice white coating would restore the room to its charm of olden days. A box full of Harlequin novels. Well, give me a code here. Beautiful portrait of Gilles and Giselle, bound together by the chains of conventional love. <laughs> too bad that she didn't really think too highly of him, but oh well, I guess that's marriage for some people. Ooh, okay. Beautiful portrait of Gilles and Giselle, bound together by the chains of conventional love. Jesus, how do I access you? The cross looked after a marriage's well-being and served as a motivator to uphold the priest's sermons calling for more little worshippers on one hand and cautioning against guilty pleasures on the other. <laughs> Indeed, the Lachances were still part of the God-fearing generation. <laughs> That's awkward. Jesus, you want us to make more babies, but you don't want us to enjoy doing it. I understand completely, Jesus. Many boxes scattered about. Carl didn't need to summon his detective training to quickly figure that the Lachances had just moved in. Okay. The general store, along with several more infrastructures in the area, had been acquired by wealthy industrialist William J. Hamilton. Perhaps the village should be rechristened Hamiltown. That wouldn't be a bad name, except for, you know, the fact of where it comes from. All right. Founded by Bertrand Lachance more than 20 years ago, the general store, better known as Chez Lachance, is one of Madison's economic mainstays. Since the passing of its aged owner, however, business wasn't as blooming as it once was. Gilles, uh, Gilles, eh? Gilles Lachance, inheritor of the humble establishment, had no choice but to sell everything to William Hamilton the rich and famous businessman who sparked a major controversy last year when he announced the reopening and expansion of his copper mine. As of now, operations at the general store are expected to remain unchanged despite the change of hands. Gilles Lachance still helms the register. Yeah, not that he's happy about it. So how the hell am I going to figure this one out? Let's keep looking around, see if we can find anything mega useful to us. Nope. Just raisins and random other food items. Darn. Although I could always take some for myself. Line is cut. 
That's not pleasant. Maybe somebody shot at Lachance, and that's why he pulled out his gun. Many boxes scattered. Uh, no, I just about. wanted to close the door. Carl didn't need to summon his detective training to quickly figure that the Lachances had just moved in. Would it be Lachance, 1948 or 948? I have no idea. I'm going to try a couple of things. Oh, they don't have an L. Well, shoot. Nine. Four. Eight. Nope. Well, then I tried the things I was going to try. I was going to try B194, which I did. And B948, which I did. Damn you, Lachance. How did you use your safe? Okay, so I need to, actually, now that I'm looking at my journal, I guess we're going to just keep on following Gilet Lachance around the place, rather than immediately solving everything. Which makes me sad, because what's up with this? What is he, what did he actually have inside of his safe? Why is there a fire arrow right in front of his house? I have so many questions and curiosities. Which I guess we'll just have to figure out later on. Alright. So the doctor is going to be... To the left of the general store, past the lake. Or just above... Well, in between the lakes. Got you. Let me look down this road real quick. What's over here? Oh, it's just another roadway leading out. Works for me. Also, I should probably stash some things here. Before my inventory fills up too much. Hey, look at that! I think we have three bullets for my revolver. That's nice. Uh, we're gonna put the pliers and the pincher and the empty bottle in here, as well as the logs. Because if I ever need them in a pinch, well, that's just a shame. There are plenty of logs out there. We'll be fine. I just don't know if uh, having my inventory filled to the brim will affect anything. That's intriguing. I'm basically going to be suspicious of any path that opens up into the forest. I have huge suspicions about everything. But for now, we're going to follow the main story. Figure out what the heck is going on with Gilets Le Chance. Before rushing off into the forest to be mauled by wolves or something. Where are we heading? We're taking a left. Uh, not here. Because <laughs> there's a tree in the way. There we go. Now Carl we can go. Carl felt that the store and its surroundings still held their secrets, and he didn't like to miss out. Well, that's a shame, because I want to check out what's going on with Gilles Lachance. It seems like a good general step before we go back to the general store. Oh, this is dangerous. Oh, <laughs> there's a loading zone here, too. That's so scary. I thought maybe something was about to happen, like I'm about to plump it into the water. All right. The doctor is to the left. Let's see what that's about. Oh, double loading zones. You know, I hope no one runs off my car. That would really, really suck. 